Hi, I'm Candy Cooper, a designer for Platt Enterprises. And today I'm going to show you how to make this really pretty doily picture frame. Doilies are all the rage right now, so we had to make a really cute frame using these paper craft doilies that you find in the cake decorating or food section of your craft and hobby store. You'll also want to check out our new trend colors. I'm using a couple of them today, this perfect purple and medium blue. I've also got wicker white and a lavender, some khaki glue, Mod Podge, and some varnish to seal it all up at the end. So you'll start with your frame, and the first thing you'll want to do is pop out this center piece so you don't mess that up when you're painting. Next, we're going to base coat these paper doilies. These are awesome because they're thick, so when you paint them, they don't get too wrinkled or um, messed up when you paint them, even though they're paper. So I'm just giving them a light coat of paint. You don't have to be too meticulous here. You're just going to splash that color on and try to get it at least down in the recessed areas of the doily. You'll see why in a minute when I add the next layer. And I've got some already ready here. Right here. And I've just gone ahead and painted half of it. And next I'm going to use a brayer tool to coat the top of the doily. I'm going to put a napkin down to protect my surface. So the brayer tool, what happens is when you roll the paint on top, that only covers the top parts of your doily, leaving those recessed purple areas nice and pretty and purple. So I've got a nice coating of paint. And you don't want the um, paint to be globby on your roller because that will then transfer it to your paper doily. So I'm going to start out here and then lightly brush over my paper doily. And you can do this as much or as little as you want. And you can see I've still got some purple showing through. Once you're done coating your uh, doilies, you'll want to set those aside to dry. And you can see I've already got my base coated frame and I've started mod podging the doilies to the frame. It's really easy to fit the doilies to that outside curve. All you want to do is lay your doily on top of your frame and then press the crease in, marking a line for where you'll cut around the frame. And I'm just using my finger now. So I've got that line and I'm just going to cut this along the edge. Really easy peasy. Okay, and now for the fun part, we're going to decoupage these things to the frame. Okay, so you'll just want to put a nice layer of Mod Podge. I've got a little bit of a stiff brush. If your brush is stiff, you can just wet, wet it a little bit with some water, blot it on a napkin, and then start again. And Mod Podge is just simply gluing your doilies down to the frame. And you could do this in any color palette. I'm kind of thinking this for a little girl's room, but I can also see it done in grays and blacks and metallics for a really a more modern but vintage look at the same time. Everybody has some uh, doilies maybe from their family or something. You could even color copy those and use those down in your frame. So I've got some, um, I've got my doily glued down. And then I would just keep repeating for as many petals as I want. To finish it up, you'll want to apply a coat of the satin or gloss varnish, and that makes everything nice and shiny and finished looking. And then you can embellish it with some paper flowers and buttons. And I just use the tacky glue to adhere those to the frame. Let's take a look at the finished one. You can choose your favorite photo of your kids or family members. And I hope you've enjoyed this project. For more ideas like this, check out platonline.com.